Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create this image in Photoshop and Illustrator. The first thing you want to do is open Adobe Illustrator and create an A4 print document, preferably landscape. That's just the way I prefer to work, but you can do it portrait if you prefer. Now, the first tool you need to the first tool you need to select is your fountain pen and you need to make your shape. Now you can make any shape you want, but I prefer something that's quite loopy and loops back on itself as it creates a better final image. Once you've created your shape, you can use the white arrow to alter it. And all you do is click on the dots and pull the lines forwards, backwards, move them up or down. Um, I'll move the dots around. So once you're happy that you've got the right shape, the best thing to do is select the whole thing using your black arrow and select the colour that you want to make your fractal in. Now you want to make sure that the line is whatever colour you want it to be, I've chosen pink, and that the inside is blank, and you do that by selecting the back box and changing that to blank. You also want to make sure that your line length is at two point and then you want to select the whole thing. Now it's probably best at this stage to save it um, just so that you can come back and alter it if you want to. So with the whole thing selected you want to press command C to copy that shape and then you want to open Photoshop. In Photoshop you need to create an A4 page. You want the pixels to be 300 dpi and you want it to be in CMYK so that we can print this off if we want. Now the first thing you want to do is add in another layer and make that black. So you want to make your front box black and select the paint box tool and just click in the layer and that should make it black. Now you want to press command B to copy your shape and you want to rasterize that. Now back in Illustrator you want to select your shape again and make it one point you want to command C to copy that. Then back in Photoshop, command V to copy it into the Photoshop document. You then want to scale this 